ACI 2015, Lockheed Martin is showcasing its 3-cell XLS launcher and announced the first qualification firing with MBDA's CAM missile for 2016. So today we got two of our products. The largest one is uh, the Mark 41 vertical launching system. We have that deployed in 13 nations. It's a multi-mission, pretty flexible launcher, capable of doing uh, all kind of uh, mission areas from air, subsurface, and surface. And uh, the one adjacent to it is what we call the extensible launching system. It comes in two, uh, in two varieties. One of them, which you can see, is the, the standalone, designed for the smaller platforms. It's, it's uh, instead of being a, an eight meter launcher, it's more of a four meter, so it's very um, adaptable to smaller platforms. And then there's a host version of this that will take the same munitions and allow them to put them on the VLS so you can have a mixture of our munitions on that launcher. The way we accomplish that is uh, the missile in this case happens to be the, the common anti-air modular missile. It's a C-Scepter missile from the MBDA. And uh, we're able to package four missiles in one of the missile cells. So that in gives an, an, uh, an incredible firepower because this a very small footprint gives you uh, 12 missiles, so large capacity. But this form factor is such that it allows you to install it on this standalone, but it also could go into the main battery launcher. So one adaptation into one launcher bought you two solutions. So we can retrofit or we can do new constructions of a multi-mission or we can the same retrofit or new construction on a very uh, single mission if we want to do that. I think one of the features that Excels bring to the Navy is the fact that it's, it's a below deck installation. We do provide a ballistic hatch that it does increase the survivability of the ship and of the ammunition that it carries. This ballistic hatch opens prior to the missile egress and it closes shortly after. So I think that's one of the key characteristics that this product offers to, to the Navy. Uh, well, the collaboration with Lockheed Martin started uh, uh, a few years ago. Uh, we decided together uh, to explore a number of opportunities. Um, and and uh, basically, it comes from a, a, a very simple fact. Uh, the, the Mark 41 launcher is, uh, has been adopted by a number of navies worldwide. Uh, I think it's more uh, than a thousand uh, cells uh, worldwide. Uh, and MBDA has uh, a very large number of uh, ship launch capabilities, uh, including anti-ship, land attack, air defense, of course. Uh, and so uh, it was an obvious uh, choice uh, to go and talk together and see if we could uh, make business together. And both companies decided to invest into the integration uh, of uh, CAM into uh, the launchers. Uh, actually, uh, we have decided with uh, Lockheed Martin uh, jointly uh, that uh, the, the priority for us was to focus indeed on this uh, new uh, air defense uh, missile uh, system, c sector uh, with the CAM missile and the Mark 41. Uh, for us, it's a unique opportunity to access uh, the big uh, frigates and the customers equipped with Mark 41. Uh, and uh, to benefit from uh, a Lockheed's investment on a launcher that is perfectly adapted to the small ships.